Hello everybody, Michael from Tension to Detail in Tempe. So I got my lights set up, I got my air compressor on. I'm going to show you how to uh, maintain your pads. So, <clears throat> just so you know, I made a bit of an investment, you know, in detailing, obviously. My orange pads, my microfiber, my wool, my polishing pads, my Rupes pads, my new Lake Country pads, um, brand new Rupes wool pads, polishing pads, Hex Logic, Lake Country. I got I got bags on. I got bags on. These are from uh, these are uh, Angel Wax from uh, Great Britain, and uh, so got it all. So today. I'm going to show you if you're a beginner out there or even a uh, somebody wants to start a, a detail business, how to get out scratches, how to polish out. Now, as you can see, I've invested in quite a few polishes here, right? Menzerna, Chemical Guys, um, Griot's Garage, Angel Wax, uh, Jess Car. I got them all. But what's my go-to? Menzerna 400. So... Let me uh, get this camera on my head. I'll be right back. This has been sitting out in the yard for months now. And uh, we're going to clean it up real quick. And I'm going to show you how to do it. All right. So, hands on. Real quick. I'm going to take an older microfiber that I, uh, I wash. Sorry for the glare. If I get in the camera there. I'm going to spray on my Griot's Garage Rinseless Wash. Okay, so if you're gonna detail a car, and now I've already clayed this, so we're gonna we're gonna test it and see if I need to do it again because it's been out in the elements for a long time. So that rinseless wash really is a time saver if uh, if you're gonna do a quick detail in a car and you don't need to drag out your power washer and your foam cannon just get yourself some rinseless wash and wax or just rinseless wash and uh, it'll clean that up really nice for you so let's do the bag test as uh, one of my great videos I'm not gonna break out a little one here I'm just gonna check it out Okay, we're still smooth. So, with the with your finger, you know you're gonna see you're gonna feel smoothness. But when you put in a light, thin plastic, uh, one of the thinnest ones, you can take the sleeve from a pack of cigarettes, put it in your fingers, and you can feel if you got some contaminants on there. So, sorry for all the mess. I'm getting some bucket giveaways coming here. So I'm gonna get my Max Shine three inch DA. I'm going to grab my go-to Minzern 400. Sorry for the shake. Shake up my bottle. I'm just going to spread it around lightly on my wool pad here. Okay, just to get it primed. Now, we can see a nice big... Well, that wasn't a scratch here. We can see some deep scratches right here that goes this way. So I'm going to show you, and then we got some right here. So I'm going to do this little area right here, and I'm going to get the, those scratches with the Minzerna 400. So turn this down, prime it up. So from here, I'm going to turn it up to about four. I'm going to go nice and slow. I want to let that wool pad, it's going to heat up and it's going to, you know, level off that clear coat and those scratches going to go down 50%. Here comes Timber. Timber, say hi. You want to keep it nice and level, making sure your polisher is not at an angle. Now let's go back the other way. I'm going to go back 50%. Now, seeing I know that this is a pretty deep scratch, I'm going to take about four passes. So this is number two. Going over 50%. 
nice and steady. I'm gonna come back. This is number three. Fifty percent, keeping that steady level pad, consistent speed. Now I'm gonna go up. Now this is number four. Practice hood, I got out of junk here. Now you see how this, how the pad gets bedded in there, okay? So we're gonna get a nice soft microfiber. And Look at that, everybody. Now, you have all, you know, 98, 99% of those scratches gone, pretty much gone to the naked eye. See a couple little ones there, they're still there because you could probably catch them with your nail, they're pretty deep. But look at that shine, okay? Now, Minzerna 400, it has a cut of three and a gloss of four. The highest is six. So I can change this pad to say a, uh, let's see here. We can break it down to a, a black pad for a polishing pad. I can just switch this. I can put this on. Bad on my Minzerna 400, same product. Turn it up. Go a little bit higher. Now this polish will this will break down into a polish. Okay? Just change the pad. Rev up the speed. I'm gonna do two passes just to show you how easy this and quick this is. Only took a couple seconds on there. I'm gonna fold this so we don't get any. So now that's super polished, super smooth. Let me uh, let me get another light on there, and we'll be right back. Check that out, everybody. So you can see the scratches here. No scratches. So sorry for that blast. You have Minzerna 400. Wool pad, okay, polishing pad, paint looks perfect, okay, and then you can apply your sealant or your ceramic, obviously if you're applying a ceramic you want to decontaminate it with the panel prep, um, and you're good to go. So how do I take care of these pads, okay? So if this was an orange pad and um, we're, we're polishing out, you know, some minor scratches, we can still use them in Zerna 400. Or you could, you know, use other polishes that you may have in your arsenal. But um, you can take your air compressor, crank this down to low, turn it on, okay, and then you can blow it out. You can blow out that excess um, polish on there, okay. So that helps take care of if you're using it to do you know a big surface keep that pad clean so it's not getting kicked on there 
Same thing with your um, your wool pad. Timber's excited. Now, there's also some tools on the market. So let's grab it. This is the Vortex. Okay. Get that on your air compressor. Let's switch it out here. This is great also for um, cleaning out your car. Sorry for the air compressor kicking on. This spins around as it kicks out the dirt. So if you're doing door panels or anything like that, and you wanna clean that out, you can blow out the dirt underneath the seats as you're going. So now let's turn this on. You can see it blowing off of there. It's gonna bring this right back to new. Look at that, okay? Now, when you're done with your pads, and you've, you've polished out your car, and you're gonna take either one such as this, or we can use the Griot's Garage microfiber foam pad cleaner. Either one, spray them down, get your soap on there, or any kind of degreaser, and um, wash your pads out with water, shake them out, hang up, you know, put them away to dry. So, basic, easy, Easy techniques. If you have a big DA, small DA, I've got six DAs. I've got three three inches. I've got a couple five and a half inch and a six inch DA, the original old school Grios. So they all work great. So as you can see, you can eliminate major scratches, major marring, um, any kind of car wash swirls with one simple product. Okay. If you're starting a detailed business, you get yourself a three inch DA, your Mazurna 400 compound and you can clean wash the car with the products i'm showing you in the next video and uh, go through it and you know take out those big scratches and the car is going to look a hundred times better with just one easy pad product and uh time saver there any other questions shoot me an email at detailing at gmail.com don't forget to subscribe smash that like button timber appreciates all the fans and support more videos to come when my channel hits 500, we're going to do some bucket giveaways. As you can see here, I've got a bunch ready here to go. We've got uh, awesome products from Superior Image. Um, they're my go-to. They're, they're where I get my Minzerna 400. They're where I get my Max Shine polishes. Those are where I get my um, Angel Wax pads. All of those things at uh, superiorimage.com or superiorimage.pro. Take care, everybody. Have any questions? Uh, instant message me or send me an email. Take care.